in this video we are going to discuss the question find the value of cube root of root 5 plus 2 plus cube root of root 5 minus 2 to the power of 2050 since the power is very high we'll start from the base which is cube root of root 5 plus 2 plus cube root of root 5 minus 2 let's consider this as u so this gives us u is equals to the base now since we have cube root on both these terms we have to take power 3 to remove this cube root so taking power 3 to both sides gives us u cube is equals to cube root of root 5 plus 2 plus cube root of root 5 minus 2 to the whole power 3 now this is in the form of a plus b whole cube where a is cube root of root 5 plus 2 and b is cube root of root 5 minus 2 hence we will use the formula a plus b whole cube is equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab multiplied by a plus b this is the formula that we will use so this gives us u cube is equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab this is a and this is b multiplied by a plus b a plus b and this is also equals to u which is the base now we can write the equation as u cube is equals to cube root is root 5 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 3 root 5 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 because we have a cube plus root 5 minus 2 to the power of 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 a cube plus b cube plus 3 multiplied by we can write cube root of root 5 plus 2 multiplied by cube root of root 5 minus 2 as cube root of root 5 plus 2 multiplied by root 5 minus 2 uh, this is again multiplied by a plus b which is cube root of root 5 plus 2 plus cube root of root 5 minus 2 which is equals to u itself hence we will multiply this by u now this gives us u cube is equals to 3 and 3 will cancel out to give root 5 plus 2 plus root 5 minus 2 plus 3 multiplied by this is again in the form of a plus b multiplied by a minus b and the formula for a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equals to a square minus b square okay so this is where a is equals to root 5 and b is equals to 2 hence we will use the formula a square minus b square plus 3 multiplied by cube root of a square minus b square a square is root 5 root 5 square minus b square is 2 square and this multiplied by u now plus 2 and minus 2 will cancel out to give root 5 plus root 5 which is equals to 2 root 5 so this gives us u cube is equals to 2 root 5 plus 3 multiplied by cube root of 
root 5 square we can write root 5 square is 5 to the power of 1 by 2 to the whole square which is equals to 5 to the power of 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 which is equals to 5 because a to the power of m to the whole power n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n this is one of the laws of exponent so this gives us cube root of 5 minus 2 square is 4 multiplied by u now this gives us u cube is equals to 2 root 5 plus 3 multiplied by 5 minus 4 is 1 cube root of 1 which is equals to 1 multiplied by u now this gives us u cube is equals to 2 root 5 plus 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by u is equals to 3u now this is a perfect cube hence we can also make 2 root 5 as a perfect cube by adding plus 3 root 5 to both sides plus 3 root 5 plus 3 root 5 so this gives us 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is equals to 5 root 5 we can write 5 edge root 5 square multiplied by root 5 edge root 5 to the power of 1 so this is equals to root 5 to the power of 2 plus 1 which is equals to root 5 to the power of 3 because according to law of exponent a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m plus n now this gives us u cube plus we have added 3 root 5 is equals to 5 root 5 plus 3u now this gives us u cube plus 3 root 5 is equals to and 5 root 5 is equals to root 5 to the power of 3 root 5 to the power of 3 plus 3u now taking all these terms to left side gives us u cube minus root 5 cube plus 3 root 5 minus 3 is equals to 0 now this is in the form of a cube minus b cube and the formula for a cube minus b cube is a minus b multiplied by a square plus b square plus ab where a is equals to u and b is equals to root 5 so this gives us a minus b is u minus root 5 multiplied by a square a square is u square plus b square is root 5 square plus a b is u multiplied by root 5 plus here we have three common hence taking three common gives us three multiplied by root 5 minus u equals to 0 we have u minus root 5 here and here we have root 5 minus u in order to take u minus root 5 common we have to take minus 1 common here first so taking minus 1 common here gives us u minus root 5 this gives us u minus root 5 
multiplied by u square plus root 5 square is 5 plus u root 5 3 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 multiplied by u minus root 5 is equals to 0 now we have u minus root 5 common in both these terms hence taking u minus root 5 common gives us u minus root 5 multiplied by u square plus 5 plus u root 5 because after taking u minus 5 common we have this term remaining here and after taking u minus 5 common we have minus 3 remaining here hence we will put minus 3 so u root 5 minus 3 this is equals to 0 this gives us u minus root 5 multiplied by u square plus u root 5 and 5 minus 3 is plus 2 is equals to 0 since we have 0 on the right side either this term is equals to 0 or this term is equals to 0 for u minus root 5 is equals to 0 adding plus root 5 to both sides gives us minus root 5 and plus root 5 will cancel out to give u is equals to root 5 this is one of our values for u now on the right side we have u square plus root 5 u plus 2 is equals to 0 comparing this equation with with a general quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 a is equals to 1 b is equals to root 5 and c is equals to 2 the d value for this quadratic equation is d is equals to b square minus 4ac equals to root 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 this gives us 5 minus 8 which is equals to minus 3 which is less than 0 since d is less than 0 this quadratic equation has a complex solution complex solution we have u equals to cube root of root 5 plus 2 plus cube root of root 5 minus 2 this term is always positive and also this for this term root 5 is greater than 2 because 5 is greater than 2 square which is equals to 4 hence root 5 minus 2 is is always greater than 0 hence this term is also greater than 0 hence u is always greater than 0 so we can consider u as a real number real number hence u cannot be a complex number hence we will ignore the quadratic part and only consider u equals to root 5 as the only solution and we have to find this value and this is equals to u so so we can write this as u to the power of 2050 this gives us u h root 5 and we can write root 5 as 5 to the power of 1 by 2 so 5 to the power of 1 by 2 to the whole power 2050 this will give us 5 to the power of 1 by 2 multiplied by 2050 because a to the power of m 
to the whole power n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. This is one of the laws of exponent. So this gives us 2 and 2050 will cancel out to give 1025. Hence, this is equals to 5 to the power of 1025. This is our answer.